What's up guys, Panda here again. Just coming back this time with a uh, quick review of the Wii Boost I have installed in my Toyota Tacoma. This is, I'll do a quick rundown of uh, how I installed it, but pretty much this is your Wii Boost um, model. I got the uh, the biggest model you can get, which is the uh, OTR with the um, extended in antenna. However, I don't know if you want to call it extended antenna. I'll show you later here. Basically, I just have it all wired up. It goes underneath my truck, out the firewall, underneath the truck, and out to the back of my bed here, which I'll show you in a second. This is the uh, amplifier. So, as you can see, um, I'm at home right now, so I have pretty decent um, signal, but once I turn it on, just give that a second there. You'll see it slowly start to boot up to about five bars here in a second. Just give it a second. Once it turns on, and um, pretty much I'll have full bars. There it goes. See, boosts that boosts that up. So pretty much you got to keep your phone kind of close to here. That's why I have my phone mount right there. But um, yeah, if you ever need anything, like you're out um, hiking or <laughs> just in a backwood camping somewhere in the forest roads or anywhere pretty much where you have very too little signal, this thing is great. Um, I do have to say that uh, there's no signal. If you're not picking up any signal in a dead zone, this thing will not make any signal. So just got to get you guys uh, prepared that, you know, this does not make signal. It just amplifies the signal, okay? <clears throat> um, I have it set up here because I don't really use my uh, wireless, whatever, charging there. So I placed that one there. It's just how I like it. <clears throat> I run a soft topper on my truck. I don't, I don't have um, like a rack or anything um, installed. I don't know if I want to do that in the future, but a lot of the guys that you see that run this antenna, they uh, they put it on top of their rack with a swivel mount, and they and it goes like all the way up in the like extended two foot. I like mine a little bit more, um, you know, hidden. So this is how I have it set up. Um, you don't even see it in the back of my bed here, but it's actually right there. <clears throat> climb into the back of the truck here real quick so you can kind of see what it looks like <clears throat> all right so that's the Wii Boost. this is the uh, over the road um, extended antenna um, yeah it comes with a uh, like a nice like 12 to like 24 inch like um, extending arm which I don't need because I run a soft topper here so I just cut it short Took the, the mount and just mounted up to the bed rails and uh, ran the wire underneath the truck and through the firewall. Uh, so that's how I have it on my Toyota Tacoma with the Wii Boost. I like to go on the trail runs and you know sometimes the girl friend likes to you know, play on her phone while I'm out there hitting the trails and uh, sometimes signal doesn't just work right. Turn that on and uh, <clears throat> She has all the uh, YouTube and video chatting capabilities um, she ever needs or I ever need. Works great if uh, you work from home and um, you're out traveling a lot in your RV, truck, car, whatever. It's a nice little addition to um, yeah, workspace, I guess. Other else than that, um, they are a little bit pricey. They do run about like six, six fifty ish after tax if you can find one used online I've seen them as low as like $200 um, pick it up will not hurt and uh, it's nice to have just in case you know you ever need it and uh, that's my uh, quick review of uh, WeBoost <laughs>